Ag Geeks, Tim Tippett's with MajorGeeks.com. And as you know, Windows 7 support ends in January 2020. We're going to show you how to block that Windows 7 end of support message in a couple different ways and give you some extra information you might need to know about the end of support while we're here. So all you need to know is that the end of support message, which looks like this, is actually a Windows update or Microsoft Knowledge Base KB and its number is KB4493132. I hope you like those numbers because you're going to hear it a few more times as this video goes on. So make sure you pay attention to this and I should always mention this page that you're looking at will be linked to in the video description and the video will be embedded here if you would like to follow along on the page with the screenshots and video. So easy to do, you've got three options. First off, the first time you see it, just click on do not remind me again. It's kind of buried. So instinct is window pops up, we close the window. Not in this case, make sure you just look for that, click on it, and frankly, you're all set. That's all you need to know. So let's look at how Windows installs these updates because what we can do is we can, now that you know it's a Windows update, we can uninstall it. However, it will come back. So Windows update will grab it again. So before we remove it, if you'd like to do that, we want to take care of how Windows installs updates. Now both of these settings, uh, uninstalling it and the Windows update settings are in the same spot. Start, control panel, system and security, and come down to the Windows update section. So what we want to do is turn automatic updating on or off. And the reason we want to do that is do it to check for updates, but let me choose. And the reason we want to do this is we don't want to reinstall that end of support notification. And more importantly, when Windows XP was out, they ended up having to push some critical updates to Windows XP, even though support's done. And I'm willing to bet you that Windows 7 is going to happen exactly the same way. Something important is going to come up and they're going to push an update even though support has, my fingers are doing little quote signs, support has ended. So there you go. My option here, I don't want to download the update over and over again so I want to ch uh, check for updates but allow myself to choose whether to download and install them. This will allow you to ignore that KB number that we mentioned before, 4493132. Told you. Recommended updates. Because Windows 7 support is coming to an end, I would uncheck it. And who can install updates? That's up to you whether you have users or not. People tended to have users on their computer back in Windows 7 much more than they did in uh, Windows 10, for example. So all you got to do then is click OK. Once you've made that change, there you go. So as we mentioned, we don't have to go anywhere. Keep that control panel open because if you want to uninstall it, now you can go to View Installed Updates. Now, depending on your computer speed, this might take a few minutes to load because there's so many updates over the years to Windows 7. So while we're waiting for it to load, note the arrow here. We're going to have to try and find it by name. It may possibly be in the first couple if it was updated recently. Otherwise, see how the arrow changes? Make sure your arrow is up. At least that's the way I'm doing it. Unless you like to do it backwards, knock yourself out. So here we go. They're going to go in order numerically. So you can see 247. 26, 27, 28, 29. You're looking for that 449. Nope. And you, you want to keep right on scrolling. Here's a whole new section starting all over again numerically. Keep scrolling until you find 449. And there is 4493132. One of the reasons we're doing this video and updating our guide is you used to be able to hide stuff and you can't do that anymore and a couple other things have changed. So everything we're telling you now is up to date as the Windows 7 support comes to an end. Right click, make sure you got the right one, 4493132. I don't know why I find myself so funny having to say it over and over again. And when you right click and you uninstall, just click yes and that will be gone. Now, if I go back in and check for updates, again, it's gonna show up, but we can opt out because we already went ahead and made our changes here, right? Cool. So now you won't get to the end of support message and you won't have to worry about it ever coming back again because you just don't know. You might uncheck this and who knows, Microsoft might change their mind and, and force it through again as we approach January 14th, 2020. So hopefully that's everything you need to know on how to block Windows 7 and the support. Again, it's very, very easy to do, but you have the other options of how you're gonna download updates. But again, please keep in mind, leave those updates on for a while. I, I get the tendency, you're like, I don't want Windows checking for updates when support's over when I'm done with it. 
give it give it a year and just let it check and let you know that way you're notified if there's a problem all right there you go down at the bottom right corner there's a little major geeks logo should be appearing if you click on that you can follow major geeks on youtube we'd appreciate that that's up to you or you know throw a like on the video a little something something and as always we appreciate you watching major geeks youtube channel and hopefully we'll see you again soon